Okay. How do you determine whether it's your battery or your alternator that's bad? Well, for beginners, you take your little multimeter here and you know i've had this in for umpteen years whatever um you can get a little cheap one a couple dollars at harbor freight or someplace so all you want to do is measure what your battery's holding uh red obviously red goes to red i don't know if you can see there or not let me see yeah let's turn around can you see that i think you can red goes to red black goes to negative post on your we should have 12 point uh, around 12.6 12.5 volt, uh, volts here and get a good contact oh there we go uh, and the thing is my I believe it's really my alternator that went out last night uh, coming home lights got dim um, voltage started dropping and by the time I got home I believe I was just well long before I got home I believe I was just running on battery power so I'm gonna see how much how many volts we have here if I can get a good solid connection okay we're at 12 right there I don't know if y'all can see that so we're not that far off I had someone actually um, um, my lights were going dim gauges stopped working couldn't hardly see my headlights so i pulled in walmart someone gave me i saw it stopped and obviously it wouldn't start so we sat there for a while with jumper cables on charging my battery and i was able to make it home so i'm pretty sure it's alternator but if i was unsure first thing you want to do is see how many volts your battery has and just take your little multimeter here like i said you should be getting 12.5 something we're at 12 which since i was running off battery power only isn't bad so that's kind of leading me to my alternator so um i've already got the alternator um sticker shock hadn't bought one in over 20 years so uh, let me get it on and running and i'll show you how to check your alternator to see if it's good or not Okay, now when I touch the red to that um, nut on back of the um, alternator that I showed you and this to the housing, I should see, and look right down here, you should get 14.6. So let's try that. You should be seeing 14.6. Now, I've, most of the time, if it's less than that, if it's, I've, had, I've run alternators showing 13 and a half before without no problem. You can also check your alternator by taking your multimeter, taking the red, the hot, to the hot, over here, oh, if you're making connection, we should be getting, uh, of course that's in the way now. We should be getting 14, there you go, 14.2. 14.2, so it is working. So it's not the alternator, or it was the alternator because that's a new alternator. So anyway, that's how you check your alternator to see if it's bad or if it's your battery. Really, if it's low, lower than 14, I'm thinking about replacing the alternator. So there y'all go. I appreciate you watching. Donald Blue Collar DIY. I'm out.